Hello, happy, what day of the week is it? Happy whatever day it is when this video comes out. And welcome back to another episode on my YouTube channel. This week, I thought I would take some belts that I recently found when cleaning out my closet that I never wear but wasn't quite ready to get rid of. Um, and they actually kind of inspired me to make some different tops. So the first one I'm going to be working on is this little corsety belt. It is zips up in the back with a zipper. Just, I don't know if you guys remember a couple years ago when these corset belts were like so in style. Anyways, cute, but I never ever ever wear it and all of a sudden the inspiration struck. I thought maybe I would keep it to go around the waist and then just like attach some funky fabric straps up here and just make it like a quick halter top. I'm sure I wear that all the time. Next I have freaking awesome friend belt that I've had I think since I was in high school I've had it forever but I never wear it anymore either chain has been broken for forever and it currently is being attached to this necklace so it's a long overdue for a makeover I was kind of thinking it would be fun to do some like across the shoulder action I don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> So starting off with the corset belt, I found this jumper at Goodwill a while back and loved the print and thought it would be perfect to take apart and use with the corset belt. The best part is I can simply remove the bodice part from the legs of the jumper and use the legs for the top half of the bodice I'm making. Once that was decided, I cuddled up with my dog in some Love Island and began taking apart the legs from the jumpsuit. Once everything was ironed out, I took her to the mannequin to see if we could actually start making this into something real. Everything luckily was still looking good and we were ready to move on. So I grabbed some gold thread and took her to the sewing machine to close up the seams I had ripped when taking the jumpsuit apart. Once I had sewn the pant legs together at the top and trimmed the excess edges and turned the pant legs right side out, I decided to go ahead and take them back to the mannequin so we could just make sure everything was lining up correctly. The pant legs were definitely going to be wide enough to create the bodice for our top, so I decided to go ahead and remeasure myself while I'm at it just to make sure my sizing is still on point with the mannequin. The width of the pant legs were coming in at about 12 inches and I knew I wanted them to be closer to 8 inches to be narrow enough to connect to the front of our belt. So I decided to use the gathering technique to decrease the width of the fabric. Gathering is so fun and easy. You simply sew two parallel lines near the seam edge of your fabric, no backstitching. Then starting on one end, gently pull the thread through the fabric so that it begins scrunching up. So here I am just doing the gathering technique on the second pant leg to make sure I get it to eight inches as well. Gathering is seriously one of my favorite techniques to use and I use it for so many different things, including ruffles. If anyone ever wants a more in-depth tutorial on gathering, let me know, I would love to give you one. The next part of the process just included a lot of trying on and working with the fabric to figure out exactly how it would all come together. I originally thought I would do a simple halter tie top, but after more try-ons, I realized I actually did have enough fabric to make some sort of back for the top. I was still thinking about what I should do with the straps and hadn't quite made up my mind, but 
When pinning the front piece to the front of the belt, I figured it was just silly not to connect the straps to the back of the corset. So I went ahead and pinned them together and took her off to the sewing machine. Once the top was officially sewn together, I took her back to the mannequin and began fitting it on her to figure out what to do with these sleeves. When I found myself having an extreme internal dilemma, I just could not figure out if I wanted to go strapless or keep the sleeves down. I always pictured the top being strapless or halter, but seeing the sleeves down had me second guessing myself. So I decided to take it to Instagram. I did an Instagram poll on my stories and after 24 hours, these were the results. Everyone definitely agreed to keep the sleeve, which honestly makes my life easier, so I'm not mad about it. I just let the sleeve down and was very happy with how she came out. The last order of business here was just taking apart the straps from the top of the jumpsuit so that I could use it as a ribbon for the corset belt because that black cord has got to go. And I'm always a big fan of the safety pin trick. It just makes life easier when threading things through. Just putting on the finishing touches here, lacing her up. Honestly, I'm so happy that this was the result with this top because I have a million halters in my closet, but nothing like this. And now the fringe belt, which I know I originally said I was thinking to do some sort of off the shoulder design, but then my friend was getting rid of this top she never wore anymore, so I took it because I thought it would be perfect to embellish and give new life to with the silver buckles on the belt. The belt was adorned with five silver buckles, so I decided to just go ahead and cut out the middle buckle, leaving two symmetrical pieces of the belt left that each had two of the silver buckles on them. My only idea for these was to actually cap them over the shoulder and make them like sleeves. And once I got to the mannequin, I loved that idea, so I started pinning both the longer pieces of the belt to the shoulders of the sleeves. Once I was ready to sew these belt pieces on and make it official on the shoulder, my sewing machine decided she was having a bad day and stopped working. So I ended up having to hand sew these on manually. But I couldn't even be mad about the blisters on my fingers because it was worth it. She looked so good. The only thing left was to figure out where exactly to put this last silver buckle. I was between here and here. And after much deliberation, it was decided that the neck was the only way to go. So I went back to the sewing table and began sewing in the final buckle. And now, drum roll please for the final reveal. And here they are. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. I definitely think I'll be wearing them a lot and in so many different ways. So I hope you learned something new from this video and if anything, realize you do not have to be an expert sewer to do something different with your clothes and sustain their lifespan. Thank you guys so much again for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on all things Ruthless. And as always, here are some fashion and sustainability accounts to follow and learn from. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.